The National Inland Waterways Authority and the Lagos State Inland Waterways Authority has res have resolved their differences over the regulation and control of the waterways around Lagos. This happened on Monday during the signing of an agreement between the federal and Lagos State governments at the Lagos House. Alausa correspondent Adedoja Salam Adeni reports. Top officials of the National Inland Waterways Authority, led by its chief executive officer, Senator Oloruni Bemamora, and Lagos State Inland Waterways Authority management witnessed the signing of the agreement by Governor Babajide Sonwolu. The agreement borders on issues relating to waterways transportation, security, and safety of users, among others. This agreement will further strengthen the intermodal transportation system and tackle the ever hectic road transport situation in the state. We are also assuring our future investors and our partners who have said to us that they would be willing to partner with us. They don't have anything to fear whatsoever. But more importantly, Nigerians to the Lagosians that are going to be using the ferry service and even for tourism and leisure ensure that safety of the users are paramount. And I'm sure that's one of the things that we've addressed. The Niwa Laswa case is still before the Supreme Court, and they have agreed that no matter what the court rules, the two governments will remain in partnership. Much more important to me and to my colleagues in Niwa and your own administration is the good of our people, and not just issue of legality as to who controls the waterways and how far and all that. No, you don't need the court to intervene in terms of ensuring safety on the waterway. For 10 years, the Lagos State Inland Waterways Authority and its federal counterpart, NIWA, have been locked in series of legal battles over the control and regulation of waterways within the state. Adedoja, Salam Adini, TVC News, Lagos.